Okay, we're going to continue with our conditional formatting work in this video. So this is the same spreadsheet as last time where we learned about conditional formatting. We created a condition that if the total was over or equal to 100 displayed in green, if it was less than 100 displayed in red. This time, we want to display the word profit in blue if the total is equal to or over 100 and display the word loss in red if the total is less than a hundred dollars and we'll use this row right here to do that so a couple things we're going to first need to create the styles for over a hundred and under a hundred and then we're going to use an if statement to display the word and then we'll apply conditional formatting so first let's click on format go to styles and formatting and create two new styles one is over a hundred this is going to be text It's going to be the word over so there are no numbers involved for font we want it to be bold and italics and for um, color we want it to be blue and I'm going to select light blue so it will stand out the second style we're going to create is called under it's called under 100. Again, it's not, nothing to do with numbers, so we can leave that tab alone. The font is bold and italics, and the font effect that we want to use is going to be red. So we've created our two styles, over 100 and under 100. So we need to first apply the conditional format. So the conditional formatting, click on Format, Conditional Formatting. In this case, if the cell value is equal to over, and we'll see how we can get it to equal to over in a minute, select over 100. If the cell value is equal to under, well, then we're going to go to under 100. So those are the two conditions we're working with. Now we want an if statement to display the word over or under. So it's going to be equal if, and the cell in this case is B5. If B5 is less than 100, display the word under or else display the word over and you can see our conditional formatting is working because we're over a hundred and it displayed it in blue italics now if I copy and then paste you can see 95 is under a hundred and it displays it as red italic sized and again we can test it if I add ten dollars to this it becomes over like it should and if I subtract twenty dollars from this let's make this forty dollars it brings it under a hundred and changes it to red under so you see there's quite a bit of power in conditional formatting to direct the colors of the numbers and then we can put comments and words related to what the value of another cell is.